Hello everyone, Ravi here from Lama Index. Welcome to this video series on property graphs. In this series, we'll explore property graphs, their differences from knowledge graphs and implementations in Lama Index. We'll also discuss how you can implement property graphs using Neo4j and Lama Index. And we'll implement everything, uh, the property graphs in Lama Index and with Neo4j with uh, Mistral AI, Olama and open source embeddings. So uh, this is first video uh, in this series, which introduces uh, property graphs, uh, different extractors, and how to construct a property graph and user retrievers within the Llama index framework. So let's get started with it. Let's first start uh, by comparing knowledge graphs and uh, property graphs and understanding its differences. So as seen here, knowledge graphs use a triplex structure, subject, predicate, and uh, object to represent a relationship uh, for example uh, John is a subject and uh, lives in predicate uh, SF is uh, object or a city right and then uh, information about John and SF is embedded in these node labels right so however this structure lacks details about uh, these entities like John's age or SF population or any other properties so that's where property graphs uh, will help you. Property graphs as a structure has nodes, labels, uh, relationships, and uh, properties attached to each of these uh, nodes or entities. And for example, a person and a city are the labels here with the relationship uh, lives in. And there are uh, properties attached to each of these uh, person and city. For example, person has a name, uh, John and age 30 and then city has a name uh, SF and population 8.5 million, right? So uh, this is uh, the difference between how a property graph and knowledge graph looks like on a broader level. Now let's discuss property graph uh, construction and then querying. So there are two stages, construction and querying. Uh, uh, the upper one is uh, property graph construction and the lower one is uh, querying stage. So during uh, construction, uh, this begins with documents and to uh, graph extractors to build property graphs. So there are three types of uh, extractors, uh, implicit path extractor, simple LLM extractor, and schema LLM uh, extractor. So uh, once property graph is constructed during querying stage, we'll use this property graph and uh, graph retrievers. Uh, there are uh, four different graph retrievers, LLM synonym retriever, vector context retriever, text to cipher retriever, and uh, cipher template retriever. and uh, and then pass whatever information uh, we retrieved using these graph retrievers for the given query to LLM and generate an answer for the given query. So these are the uh, two stages, uh, the construction and querying, where we use extractors and retrievers uh, to get a final answer for the given query. We'll discuss in detail about these extractors and uh, retrievers in upcoming slides. So we'll start with uh, graph extractors first, right? So as I said, there are three different graph extractors, uh, implicit path extractor, simple LLM extractor, schema LLM extractor. We'll start with uh, implicit path extractor. So there is a large text chunk E and uh, it div, for example, it divides, uh, uh, we divided uh, this large text into three different chunks, A, B, C, right? So, and then the relationship between these different chunks, right? B comes after A, C comes after B, and then A comes uh, before B, B comes before C. And uh, even uh, all these three chunks uh, have, we got it from so uh, source text E, right? So all these relationships have been embedded here. So, so this is how with implicit path extractor, by just creating chunks and their uh, node relationships, we'll just create uh, a property graph. So let's look into an example on how uh, it gets created. So we have a large sentence, let's say a uh, large text chunk. The, sat, the cat sat on the mat, mat, it was very comfortable. And then the sun shone through the uh, window warming the cat's fur, right? So, uh, and this big text chunk is the source. And we divided this big text chunk into three different uh, chunks here. The cats sat on the mat and it was very comfortable and the sun shone through the window warming the cat's fur, right? So uh, the relationship, it was very comfortable uh, uh, is coming after the cat sat on the mat and the, even the third chunk comes after the second chunk and uh, the first chunk come before the 
second chunk second chunk buff comes before the third chunk and these are uh, belonging to the bigger uh, text chunk right so these relationships are embedded here and then a property graph is constructed accordingly then the next one is a uh, simple LLM extractor. So here, given a text chunk, uh, we'll use LLM to extract entities and relationships. So for example, we have extracted three entities and there are some relationships between uh, these three entities. And these three entities uh, are taken from uh, text chunk, right? So they have uh, mentions from uh, the text chunk. So as a same example, the sun shone through the window, warming the cats for as it sat on the mat. So we have extracted uh, four entities here, sun, cat, window, and mat, right? And there are uh, relationships between these two, uh, four entities as well. And then uh, these entities have been extracted from text chunk. So those uh, were also mentioned here, right? So uh, that's how we'll use an LLM to extract the entities and the relationships between them uh, using uh, a simple LLM extractor. Now next look into schema LLM extractor. It is similar to a uh, simple LLM extractor, but it uses a predefined schema. So it restricts uh, what kind of entities are available, what kind of relationships are available between the entities, right? So this is provided bit, uh, in a predefined schema. And uh, so LLM is restricted to use this uh, predefined schema on uh, labels and relationships, and then uh, create this property graphs. So since we have restricted on the mat entity and relationship, so it is excluded from this property graphs. So other entities and their relationships are present here, unlike uh, previous uh, uh, property graph. So if you just examine previous one, a simple LLM extractor, it has mat and then relationship between them, right? Uh, but in schema LLM extractor, we have restricted that. So uh, the entity and the relationship is totally gone here. Right, so uh, this is how you can create schema LLM, uh, property graph using schema LLM extractor. So you can use a single uh, extractor or multiple uh, combination of extractors to build a property graph, which we'll uh, look into uh, during uh, the implementation in further videos. And after uh, creating a property graph, now you have to use graph retrievers uh, to query it and get an answer, right? So like let's look into uh, different uh, graph retrievers. So the first one is LLM synonym retriever. So given a user query, it generates synonyms for uh, query terms and then um, find relevant nodes using exact uh, keyword match, whatever uh, synonyms are created. And then uh, see if these synonyms are present in the property graph, do extract uh, exact keyword match and then uh, return direct neighborhood of adjacent nodes. The next one is vector context retriever. Here we use embeddings uh, to find the relevant nodes through vector search and then uh, return direct neighborhood of adjacent nodes. This is simple uh, vector search, uh, but uh, we create embeddings for the text nodes and well as uh, nodes and then uh, for the query and do a uh, cosine similarity to get the relevant nodes, right? The next one is uh, text to cipher. So this uh, generates cipher uh, statements using LLM for the given query. And um, uh, based on this cipher statement, you uh, uh, return the corresponding data using uh, the, this generated cipher and then uh, get an answer accordingly. In cipher template retriever, uh, from the user query, we extract relevant parameters uh, based on the template already available and then run the cipher uh, template. Uh, which then gives uh, an answer for the given query. So that's all I have. In the further videos, we'll uh, cover implementing property graphs in Llama Index with various extractors, retrievers, and Neo4j using Mistral LLM for demonstration. See you in the next video. Thank you.